So specifically, we're going into two things. Number yep. one is display, and the other one is camera. So would you like to talk about how displays have progressed from uh, 2017 to 18 to 19? So okay, for 2017, I guess the biggest trend was how do you make the screen bigger while maintaining a small footprint? So you can see manufacturers uh, reducing the bezels with the 18 by 9 aspect ratios getting taller and taller. And the next step is how do we go from there? So that's where manufacturers started putting a notch on the top of the phones. So some people don't like it. Some I'm, I'm okay with the notch. How about you? I don't have any issues with the notch. So okay, we'll talk about the notch a little bit later. Lah. So you, you mentioned about the footprint, right? Yeah. So I guess it started in 17 uh, with Samsung. I think Samsung was the pioneer in trying to like squeeze as much screen yes. real estate into a small body. Yeah, and they do by curving the edges of the screen. Yeah, yeah. which is which is a bit of a cheating. Yeah. Lah. That, then the problem with that is you have this, this, this uh, what we call the forehead, right? So mm -hmm. if you notice, uh, this, uh, this is... If you if you're not aware, right? So this is this top portion is the forehead where the camera is and the speaker is, and then at the bottom is the chin. So, and then they've they've also pioneered the aspect ratio, which is yeah. uh, eighteen nine, right? Yes, eighteen point seven point nine. Yeah. So One so first. so to squeeze more display into a device that you can still hold comfortably in your hand. Number one, they curved the Samsung curved the display. display, and then number two, they've changed the aspect ratio. They make it taller instead of wider. So that's what that's what happened in 2017. Yeah. and then and then in twenty seventeen also was the iPhone ten, right? Yep, and they put a notch on top. So the Apple way of uh, increasing. So Apple also agree that you cannot increase uh, the the width of the display so that you have uh, a bigger display. So people want bigger and bigger display. So what they did was, they also changed the aspect ratio, which is about the same, right? It is highest 21 to 9. So they changed yeah, the aspect ratio from the standard 16 by 9 widescreen to a 21 whatever. And then number two, they introduced a notch. That means they squeezed the display yeah. up. But but to also accommodate for the, for the like front camera, camera and the speaker yeah. and the face ID, they had to introduce the notch. So it's the... It's it's a bit of a thing lah. So Alex asked me right, is is the notch a problem? Actually, I when I first tried it out, I had an issue when I wanted to zoom into YouTube videos when I wanted to watch YouTube into the native uh, aspect ratio, which is twenty one by by whatever. The thing is on YouTube, you don't get content. Uh, you don't get a lot of content that has that the the aspect ratio. Yeah, it's not natively that size. Yeah. yeah, a lot of the content is still sixteen by nine. Yeah, so, even on Samsung when you stretch it, right, you're gonna have some clipping at the sides. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. miss a lot of the. It's gonna be cropped, lah. Yeah, it's right? cropped. Yeah. So, I after like the initial novelty of being able to zoom in and see the video full screen, but not but but the video is being cropped. I stopped watching it with with zoomed in, lah. Mm -hmm. So the notch no longer became an issue for me. Uh, whether there's a notch or not, I don't I don't have a problem with that. What about you? Do you have a problem with the notch? Not really, yeah. But then a lot of people have a problem with yep. the notch. So come to 2019, screen sizes have to grow. Oh. So generally, on average, we are seeing devices increasing in terms of screen sizes. And they're losing... The notch. But there's, there's, there's only so much your hand can grow, right? Yep. So there's only so much. So you, the screen cannot grow uh, sideways. It can either grow taller... taller. Yeah. Which, which, okay, which we'll talk about the Sony Xperia yeah, later. Z4, yeah. uh, it can only grow taller. So to grow taller, they need to reduce the, the forehead and the chin. So to reduce the forehead and the chin, there's only two ways to do it, as far as we know. Yeah. So one... is a slider. So actually, there's three ways. We'll talk about the Sony after oh, this. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. so there's three ways. One is a slider, slider. mechanism. So we have... We talked about the Mimix 2 in our previous episode, Mimix right? 3. So a Mimix 3... So one is to have a, to introduce a slider mechanism. This is one way. The problem with this is you have a physical movement, a mechanical, a mechanical, mechanical movement, movement yeah. and the cam the front camera is hidden. hidden. That's the downside. The pro of this is it's so cool, man. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. The other con is it's a challenge to do IP sixty eight yeah. with this mechanism for now, mm -hmm. but it could. It could work in the future. Maybe yeah. a Mimix 4 or whatever can have yeah. IP68. But so this is one way of increasing. So as you can see, right? So let me just unlock this. So as you can see now, there's no more... There's barely a, 
Yeah, so it's very, it goes all the way up to the top edges. But this one, they still there's have a, a noticeable slide of a, there's chin. A chin la. Yeah. The reason for this chin is because the display needs to be powered, right? So yeah. this is probably the where the connectors are yeah. that connects to the board to display to, to shoot the display. So the advantage of this is is a bit more of an immersive viewing experience. Yeah. Okay, so this is one. The other one is what we call a punch hole display. You see that? It's like a tiny hole at the top left corner. So the punch hole display for me is more interesting because of the technical challenges the engineers have to overcome to make this punch hole display possible. It is literally a physical hole in the display. That means, right, you watch your TV, right? You punch a hole through your TV <laughs> and the TV still it works. works. Yeah. So understand the complexity. Number one is the... the um, the punch hole, right? Ne the the display mechanism, right? Needs to know that it needs to curve around the thing, mm. uh, to curve around through, the yeah. hole. Yeah. Imagine, right? If you see a wall in a, that's projected on a building, like a bank of L LED uh, on a wall, right? The computer needs to tell the LED, right? Which portion of the display to, to project up. which picture? Mm. So that for me is a, is is really interesting that the engineers have done this. So, it's an interesting engineering feat. Yep. But, is it enough of an improvement that it changes your perspective and experience in terms of a, of a mobile phone? Hmm. Is it a major Major's. innovation? Well, it's still... Okay, if you think about it, it's still, it's, it takes out the same space as a tiny notch. It still takes out space. It's not as... You don't get the full edge-to-edge -edge experience like the Mi Mix 3. Hmm. Yeah. But it is a good way to, good alternative of having a notch. That's what I can say. But, at least, <laughs> but one thing I like about this is that the position though, because you look at the other iterations of the tiny notch implementation, the water drop notch, they are, they are normally placed in the middle. And that could be, a could be a distraction for some people. But by placing it on the left side, the only thing it takes up is one notification icon on the top left. So it is kind of like an incremental improvement, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Uh, does it... Uh, immensely changes the viewing experience. I after I, looking at this, uh, I cannot no. say. I, I mean, it's better than having a notch. It's okay. It's better than having a notch. A notch. Okay, you compare that to With, this, right? Yes. So this is probably the worst case example, the biggest notch you can find. No, the bigger one is the. The pixel, right? Pixel has a bigger notch. Uh, pixel is deeper, but this wider. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so you can see, right? Okay, let us know which one do you prefer. Is the notch a big thing? Is it a... What, what do you think of the notch? What do you think of the punch hole display? What do you think of the slider mechanism that we have here? So which one do you think is more innovative? Slider, punch hole, notch. Hi, Rory. Oops. <laughs> slider, punch hole, or notch? I, I'm intrigued by this, but I think it's a bit um, finicky. To me, this is the... More, more practical solution. More, not, not practical. It's the more integrated, more seamless solution because I don't have to change the way I use the phone so much. The selfie camera is always ready. Yeah, it's more intuitive. Mm -hmm. But is it an innovation? I don't think so. I mean, it's an improvement, but I wouldn't call it an innovation. The technology to make this possible may be, may be called an innovation, but it's not really something that I'll go like, whoa, I need that in my phone. And then we have the XZ4, right? Yep. So that one features a... What's the screen size of that? Do you remember? Uh, according to rumors, it's going to be a 21 by 9. So we're 21 to 9, yeah. What's the screen size? What's the screen size? Uh, 6.4, 6.5. No so it's a 6.4 inch uh, smartphone with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Yeah. So what is the... What, is, what does that mean to you, right? So the 21 by 9 aspect ratio means like the phone is at least one... Almost one, half an inch yeah. taller than than the tallest phone you have. So I have the Note, right? This is kind of tall, right? So it's like that much taller. So, it, yeah. so to solve the problem of screen real estate, right? And not, not invest in punch hole or slider mechanism, Sony literally just made the screen taller. The problem with that is using the phone. The size, yeah. So people with small hands like me, right? And with the Note, right? I can't even reach up to... The notification. Yeah. Yeah. But some people are fixing that problem with... Uh, with the one-handed 
mode, right? With one handed mode is one. One handed yeah. mode is a bit of a compromise, like, where yeah. the where the whole screen display shrinks, shrinks uh, to f- so that you can control everything uh, at the bottom quarter here. But with the interesting thing is the Samsung uh, One UI interface. Mm-hmm. It has a double uh, double control uh, double interface uh, area. So the top is where you view your content the bottom is where you engage with the content so that's one way to handle it so maybe samsung uh, sorry maybe sony also has an interface like that yeah they might maybe move all the finger interactions to the bottom of the screen yeah but the yeah. thing is sony in terms and interfaces are not like great uh they don't make great phones either so i'm not really too keen about this xz4 yeah. with their tall display uh, but we'll see. They're, they're, we're expecting them mm-hmm. to launch at Mobile World Congress. You wanted to say something? Yeah, there's one more phone we forgot to mention. Mm. The Vivo Next dual screen. So they, they hit the camera, they don't. They remove the camera completely from the front yeah. and put it at the back. So for, for the Vivo Next dual screen, there's no selfie camera at there's all. No right? So camera. for you to take a selfie, you use mm. it at the back. <laughs> and it's a secondary screen at the back. Yeah. For me, that's even more of a headache. Yeah, it's more risk. You have two screens to worry about. Just so that you can take selfies. I yeah. mean, I'm not a person that takes a lot of selfies. Lah. Mm-hmm. I don't know about you. I don't know whether selfies is a... whether I don't know whether a front camera is a huge thing. Mm-hmm. Can I live... Can I have a camera that doesn't... Can I have a, a phone, phone that doesn't have a selfie camera? I can. I can. Really? How yeah. about most when you have group photos? If you have group photos, you just flip the thing like that. Lah. You don't need to see the display. Ma. You need to see. You need but now got AI. Right? If, so if, if there's <laughs> AI, right, the AI will probably be able to frame it or whatever. I, there's, there, there are multiple ways to do this. So if you ask me, so, so you think you need a phone with a... With yeah, there are moments you're going to need to take group photos by yourself. I don't think so. I think... Uh, well, I can survive without a. Uh, maybe I'll do a no selfie challenge. I'll tape up my <laughs> tape up my selfie camera at the front and uh, try that for a month. But I I think I I don't need it. Uh, plus, a lot of selfie cameras are pretty crappy too. No, it's getting better. getting better and better. Look at the the, pixel. the, the iPhone one is okay lah. Yeah, it's not bad. Good. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good in terms of the selfie camera. So that's in terms of the display. So the dual display that one is even more of a headache. Yeah. That one is even more of a complication. For me, that one is confirm a gimmick. That one is definitely a gimmick. I'm not gonna think that there will be a lot of devices coming out with dual displays. We've seen dual display devices a long time ago. Yeah, uh, the Russian company. Uh, Yota. Yota phone, right? Yes. So that one had a full color display at the front and an e-ink display at the back. Uh, that didn't pick up. Uh, I thought it was cool when I first yep. saw it. I mean, being able to read and all that. But it's uh, neither here nor there. Again, it's a mm-hmm. gimmick. So, innovations for 2019. Display is a big deal. My choice is the punch hole. Uh, I think Rory did a Mimix 3 review. He is like really on into the slider mechanism. I can understand where he's coming from, but I think that's a niche thing. Uh, moving into 2019, w- what would be your choice? Uh, Dual display, taller display, punch hole display, slider display. For this, I'll go with Rory's choice. I prefer a slider. Come on, man. Look at that. It's so clean. I guess. I mean, but for me... I would say after the novelty wears out, mm-hmm. uh, it's just going to be like a normal phone. So I choose the the punch hole display. display because, like I said, it is the most seamless and non-intrusive in terms of being intuitive to use. So I do not have to change a lot of my usage use. behavior mm-hmm. to accommodate for the bigger display. So what do you think? Do you want a, a punch hole display, a slider display, a taller display, or a notch display? Let us know in the comments. Then... The last, the last.